Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play Full Throttle Remastered for the PS5. My name is Fuzz Burr, this is your Storybase Gaming Channel, and today, well, today we ran into a roadblock, and... Yeah, I've already said my goodbyes. I'm not really sure what to do about it now. So let's go ahead and try to figure out what to do next. Ready and willing. Okay, we're ready and willing, but where do we go? Well, it looks like we can go through the map. I, I love the way we drive off. Okay, we're definitely not going this way. There is another way we can go on bike, though. We can go up this way. The ambush is the other way. Well, I mean... Maybe go to the water tower? Because that's where those uh, people were. You know, the ones on the, uh, the, the flying bikes. I'm not entirely sure what to do. I mean, that's the nature of a blind let's play, I suppose. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Okay, so that takes away those guys. It looks like we're already on a bike ready to go. Hey, how about that? The game uh, saved me from having to go through that. I thought it would have to hide again and then get back on the bike. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? I haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No, we're in it. <laughs> Put my head in a basket cause I'd had a tank full When she blew my gasket I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on old man, I gotcha Now do something incriminating like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Ripburger just killed him. You shouldn't him. have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Yeah, gotcha. that's you. Uh-oh. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. <laughs> it's got a camera. She's got spunk. I'll get her. No. Nice. Go, 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 go. Will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we need that camera. Malcolm, for how evidence. about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Ben. <coughs> I guess Rip Burger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Burger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? The horror. Minivans. Oh. Yeah, the horror. <coughs> You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Oh, promise I'll... me, you'll hurt him bad. I'll do that. I promise. <laughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, so Ben. So tell me her name we is Marine. We built the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <clears throat> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. I called it. Marine. Uh-oh. 
Well, that's not... Look out! <laughs> Rip Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Well, I think she can handle herself. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat him here. Man, this story is going places. On second thought, maybe I didn't. I wasn't really expecting that. I mean, I heard this game had a great story, but... I, it's... it's very good so far. I mean, it seems so simple, and yet it's not. Uh, I can't look at anything. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing in here to look at. I'm not putting my lips on that. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Okay. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris. Looks like someone's... Nothing left but... This place is messed up enough. Looks like someone's... Nothing left... All right, so my only clue is this, um, picture? Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. So I need to go to a mink ranch. Where... Where is a mink ranch? It's not here, is it? Nah, I don't think it's here. It's definitely not here. I mean, can we get on my bike and uh, ride somewhere? Hope we're all having a wonderful, fantastic day, by the way. I'm really happy to be playing this game. I mean, I wasn't thinking of doing it, but... You know, while we wait for Return to Monkey Island, uh, I think this is... Uh, it's kind of exactly what I needed right now. Okay, now we're uh, back here. There's a semi here. This sucker's mine. <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. I just love how I can kick everything in sight. Oh, hello. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Uh-oh. Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Yeah, you could say that. Suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Mm, that's not good. I've never liked nose rings. 
Me neither, but someone dared me. <laughs> Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Show the picture. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Of course it has to be beside, um, past the roadblocks. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get... No. Uh, let's talk to this guy over here, Emmett. He doesn't look happy. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Hmm. Pigs. I just killed a guy. <laughs> I'm just about to. <laughs> I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna I don't think anything's gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. Ah, fair enough. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quohog. Yeah, Emmett. I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, alright? The customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not so how do I do you? Friendly folks you get in here. Em, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quohog. I need to get to this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty tonight. How poetic. Hmm. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. He doesn't look happy. I need to either get him to go with me or get his knife. But unfortunately, sure do that. not gonna happen. That's not going to happen there. We're talking. And I only have. I only have one thing in my inventory at the moment. Yeah, right. Play. <laughs> oh, it's actually playing too. Oh, that was fun. Ah, uh, what do I? Uh... How come nothing's lighting up anymore? Like, I'm pressing the, uh, the button. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can jump between objects. But why is nothing lighting up? Uh, controls. Open highlight up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, nothing's working. Weird. Okay, it's working there. But not here. Hmm. Can't really go many places. I guess we could drive down to where the roadblock is and check out that area. I love the way you ride around in your bike, though. Kind of cool seeing your character move around the screen like that. Okay, let's go back here. I, I don't walk. I, I'm not telling you to walk. Why'd you get off your bike? I didn't tell you to get off your bike. Oh! Oh, that's because I'm clicking that way. I have to... 
I have to get the arrow on the screen. Like that. Alright, okay, okay. Right, right. Let's see here. Wow, that is a lot of lights so lighting much up. For returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Ah, there's a lot of people right there. Um. Oh. Is there anywhere else we can go? That way. That way. We could always explore the um the areas we've already been to. Okay, let's go to Moe's first. Maybe I missed something here. <laughs> so pointless. I'm not putting my lips on. The it's empty. Okay, there's some debris here, and we've already clicked on this debris, right? Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Hmm. Okay. And we already got the picture out of the camera. And we know there's nothing in here. Nothing in here. All right. Let's head over to the left. And we'll, we'll come up here, climb this. I have a feeling there's nothing here. Like we've already gotten the uh, the fork. There's nothing with this car. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. There's nothing over there. When I go to the right, there's a dog. I'd better get out of here. See, and there's nothing else here. Okay, uh, I think we can say there's nothing in this area. So where to next? Uh, we've been here, and that alerted the uh, the people. There's nowhere else to go, except for you know there is one scene that I don't think we've been to. Uh, the um, you remember the uh, you, you remember how we were in the dumpster? Now that we can ride a bike, there may be something there. Because I can't think of any other uh, location that we haven't gone. And, and sure enough, they do want us to go back here. Because the big rig guy is here. Let's see. Right here? Uh, hello? Someone just- Ben! Huh? Psst. Uh, hello? Psst. Ben, no time to talk. Oh, it's a- you know, uh, It's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta uh. help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? <laughs> yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me. Get my editor. He's got to get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. Oh, blocks. fantastic. <laughs> my career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only <laughs> hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. <laughs> if Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. 
But then, who's got the film? Oh, that was great. I knew. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, Ms. Wood. Go away. You're blowing my cover. And I'm like, hey, come out of there. I want to talk to you. No way. It's too dangerous. No. Nah. All right, we got a badge. Can we get the badge to this guy so he can uh, drive us through the the thing? The roadblock? What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? That was screwed. It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Ew. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Ew. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, our bike is gonna smell awful. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Especially when we're in the engine. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the feds, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. <laughs> What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. Huzzah! <laughs> there really is not a lot of places to go in this game. So we get stuck. There's not many places to look. Hmm. We stopped moving. Are we through? Problem with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose hose, uh, nothing big. Uh, I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, excellent. Nice Got to hit the road, you know. Oh, how horrible does that bike smell right now? Oh, Uncle Pete. Uh -oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. Ah, oh, son of a. That gonna die for what he did. Oh, that, that trucker's gonna die for what he did. Won't work without a fuel line. No, I'm not putting my lips on that. Well, thankfully, hopefully we can find Marine here. She seems to be able to fix anything, right? Mink Ranch. I'm not putting my lips on that. The barn's locked. The barn's locked. Open up, you <laughs> minx. <laughs> oh, I just love the fact we can kick anything. Man. It's happened before, but... The game looks really good back then. Alright, what do we got? Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Looks like a mink pelt. I'm not into furs. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. A lot of pictures. I'm not putting my lips on lots of bikes. No, ma'am. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. <laughs> no. Lots of bikes. Okay, so all these are the same? There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. Can you no get that mementos. one? I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. I'm not putting my lips on that. Lots of bikes. Lots of bikes. No, I guess not. Okay, uh, let's check the most obvious thing in here. Tough looking padlock. I'm not putting my lips on. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. Now mind? Hmm. Ah! Hmm. That looks like a way to open up a lock, if I ever saw one. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, 
How else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Hmm. No. No. Okay, now we have to use the tire iron on the lock. Who needs a lock pick? Just mash it open. Uh, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Are you kidding me? Okay. I thought someone stole our bike. Let's go. I wonder if she thinks we killed her old man. That would kind of be bad. Oh, it's a trucker. Ah, uh, we'll deal with him later. We gotta catch the Tabo. Music is great. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. I like a little lizard there. She took my booster fuel. Oh, come on! Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. Whoa! It's this jerk. That does it. He's dead. Yeah, let's get him. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. Oh my, no threat. Or they just disappeared to. They they went in front of me and then they just vanished. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Keep laughing. Let's see what happens to you. Wow. I wasn't expecting that though. The tricks blew up my bridge. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. What do we got here? Fertilizer. We really did have fertilizer. What a stinking mess. Maybe I'll just take a little. I'm no cowboy. I've touched it enough. Check out this semi-trailer. Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. <laughs> Walked all this way to say I'm not gonna put my lips on that. Where is he going? Uh, Ben? I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> Won't budge. Won't budge. Went all the way over there just to say I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay, um. This stuff reeks. I guess get back on our bike. But the bridge is out now. With the bridge out, I don't think we're gonna be going far. Oh, I can move around. Take exit. Sure, why not? Uh, I like how you can actually drive. That's really neat. Whoa. 
Uh oh. We got company up ahead. Father Tor. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Bullcats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. <laughs> what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody. Haha. <laughs> Nobody was walk wheels are uglier. The vultures are quick and they're nuts. What's up with those cave fish, man? What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle. It's about timing. Hmm. How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road. So if we take off their goggles? large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? Uh, like yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Heck yeah. Cavefish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Oh, that sounds like fun. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cavefish specs. It's time Can't to beat up some cavefish. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Yeah, we gotta go uh, trash some uh, cavefish. There's one up ahead. Let's go take him out. Can't reach him. Can't reach him. Can't reach him. Whoa! What the heck just happened? I, I got skidded out somehow. How? how? Alright, well, let's try to find another cavefish here. Uh, I just look like a cavefish, unfortunately. I'm Robbie, you are glue. Dude, I think he's kicking my butt. Yeah, I think he's kicking my butt. Oh, I got him on that one. Oh, I got him on, oh, I got him on that one. Oh, no, come on! Oh, this is not good. I am getting my butt handed to me. Oh, boy. It is not looking good on Ben's fighting record right now. Okay, we got another guy up ahead. It's not like us. Say there, is that a free regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes, it is. Ta da! <laughs> ah. We kind of need that in order to uh, catch up to the, uh, the super fast guys. Wow. 
you really a polecat? Yes, I am. Well, I hate polecats. Oh. <laughs> you polecats never learn, do you? Yes, I won one. Who's that? I want to fight. I don't know if that did anything. Kind of not winning against the guys I need to win against, but I want to fight. Huzzah! These are the guys I need to beat. I need to get one of their uh, masks somehow. What? Oh, 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 did that happen? What, what, why did I get, why did I get scraped off the road? I mean, he barely touched me. He literally barely, barely touched me. What happened? This guy's got an awesome chain. Got a new weapon. Fantastic. So what? I know how that guy kicked me off so well. Like he just knocked me loose so easily. Air, whatever, whatever, whatever I'm looking for. Okay, there's someone right here. Is this the jet boosting guy? Yes! Up, yeah! That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. Huzzah! See, I, I quickly attacked him before, uh, before giving him a chance. You like choppers, huh? Oh, she's got a chainsaw! Whoa, she's got a chainsaw! Are you kidding me? Like, really? What was I supposed to do against a chainsaw? Back again? Is that all the pain you can dish out? Oh, apparently, I can dish out more than that. <laughs> I don't understand how they can hit me like twice and knock me off and I hit them five times and I don't knock them off. I mean, I thought we were the toughest, you know, son of a guns on the road. And yeah, they are just decking us left and right. Back for more? Oh God, it's a chainsaw lady. You see what I mean? One hit! One hit, that's a lot it took. Won it, and I'm on the ground. Ah. All right, I'm not gonna give up though. I have won a couple fights. I hate <laughs> All right, it did not work as planned. That that definitely did not work as planned. Man, I, I gotta learn how to fight because this is just ridiculous. They are totally decimating me. I'm supposed to be the, you know, the ultimate bad guy on the road, right? Yeah, well, there's not one of these guys. Okay, I saw what happened there. He shot, he shot, uh, oil out of his car and just tripped me up like that. Trying different strategies this time. Yes! yes! Yeah! 
How about that? My feet worked. Oh, hey, all right. Why are we on the road now? Yeah, yeah, I'm not done fighting. I, I still have some uh, rounds to go with these guys. Unfortunately, that guy didn't give me anything for winning that fight. Once you know it. The one time I win is the one time it doesn't matter. Okay, so I need to watch this guy to make sure he doesn't oil all over me. Oh, come on! I saw him do it, and yet I couldn't avoid it. How do you avoid that? Is there like a button I can press uh, when I'm on my bike to do uh to do more? Reversing car, change equipment, uh, excel, no, attack on bike, uh, steer, yeah, I don't see any, um, I, I don't see any special moves that I can do when on the bike. Yeah, it's either X or square. At least the fights come pretty quick. All right, we got this guy here. Don't we beat him last time? I think I kicked him off the road. Hey, Freaky punk. This time you're going the problem is when you go to change weapons when you start the fight, that like precious second is valuable because it, it, it gives them the initiative. So you kind of have to figure out what you want on the way here. Yeah. Alright, so kicking strategy seems to be one of the best strategies I have at the moment. I don't think it'll last long, but if I can get the initiative and push them to the side of the road, as long as they don't, like, whip out a chainsaw on me and start chainsawing me to death, um, I, I, I think it may work. Come on! He hit me once! I hit him like 15 times! Okay, I didn't hit him 15 times. I hit him like 10 times. But still! He hit me once! And that's all it took! <sighs> I should go with the chain. And just be super aggressive with the chain. See, I hit her multiple times, but even though I hit her multiple times, all she has to do is just like hit me once and I'm on the ground. I have a feeling I'm misunderstanding how these fights work. I am trying though. I, I really am. I'm really, really trying. Yeah. They just hit me once and I'm down. <laughs> okay, Tyre and I assume will work on her. Maybe it's like each weapon is special against each type of driver. So, therefore, not every weapon is going to work on the same person. So, I'm not even swinging right now. I I'm trying to swing and he's not swinging. Because I was getting my face beat in with a 2x4. 
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give it a few more shots. And if I don't figure this out, I may go look this up online on like how to fight, because I I'm obviously misunderstanding a lot. See, I hit her. I hit her five times. Flush right in the chin. And then she just comes over and goes like, Zzz, and then I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I'm on the ground. But you know, it's basically the same thing. I mean, you lose a, you lose a, uh, you lose a, a fight on the road. It's basically like you, you died. Um, but I, I, I had a good strategy on that one. I really did. I hit her. Then I backed off. Then I hit her. I backed off. But then she just ran into me, and I had no choice but to, but to go down. You die. I could have used that. This time you're gonna steal. Yeah. Yeah. I think my chain just went somewhere. I'm not sure where. I think he stole it. Yeah! Huzzah! Alright, I got the big giant whatever this thing is. Hope it helps me. I got these stupid things again. I don't know how to beat that guy. I, I had the jet boost thingy, but it, it's not working. Or like, I don't know how to make it work. I mean, there's no button to press. Hold circle skip. So can I just skip to the next fight? I'll try that in a second. Well, that was really aggressive. I just ran him off the road. I need to get to the chainsaw person. I think this is her. I do have my chain now, by the way. Why am I? Why am I? What happened to my, um, spinner thing? My, my, my morning star. It just, like, went away. Did she steal it? That was a weird skip. It, like, skipped absolutely nothing. Yeah, th this skip is really weird. It skips, like, two... Uh, maybe two seconds worth. Yeah, I don't have my uh, morning star anymore. Why not? All right, I'm back to ground zero. I don't have my morning star. I don't have my chain. And I, I don't have anything anymore. Yeah, it is circled on. just doesn't do anything. Hmm. Mom, where is our next challenger at? This reminds me a lot of Monkey Allen when he was sword fighting, except sword fighting was a very much different. Beats me up with that. Right, I'm gonna go figure out what to do to advance here because I could be roaming around like this for an hour and not have a clue. Uh, because, you know, I'm not against uh, looking up solutions to puzzles. 
The thing is with this puzzle is I don't even know where the puzzle is. Like we got the nitro boost, but I don't know how to use it. And we're just getting decimated on all these fights. So just give me a second. Let me see what I can find and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and yeah, there, there is some paper, rock, scissors stuff at play here. And also uh, just you, you need certain things to get rid of certain enemies. Like this guy here, I can't get rid of him uh, unless I had a plank. Can't reach him. Because I can't reach him otherwise. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wait for him to put his head up and then attack, like right now. But since we don't have the plank, it's not gonna work. Now, in order to get the plank, I'm not really sure how to get the plank, but um, uh, the uh, I think this guy's the plank. But the chainsaw person, we have to use fertilizer on. I don't know if fertilizer is gonna work on this one. Back again. Okay, lesson's over. Time for the final exam. And also told me, you know, one of the things you want to do is like stay to the center of the road because one of the reasons I'm falling off is because I'm going all the way to the left or right and that's causing me to uh, spin out. I don't know this fertilizer is working on this guy. Nah, I don't think it's working on that guy. I, I did get the booster though. And in order to get the booster, you had to use the chain. So we got kind of lucky with that one. Uh, because we were able to get the chain and I was able to like quickly go on the offensive. But what I really need is I need the chainsaw. Oh, this guy's got a Star Wars thing on. You see that? You're gonna, this time you're gonna, you die. Yeah, he's got a Star Wars thing on his head. That's awesome. Uh, I'm trying to hit him without getting too close. Can't attack. Yes. All right, we got the spike. I have no idea what this spike is good for, by the way. Maybe we can use that on the plank guy. Don't know. Still looking for a chainsaw. I think this is chainsaw lady. So fertilizer on her. Back for more? Let's chop you down and catch a ring. Never mind. I mean that that it's just like how are you supposed to use an item on her when she just can floor you that quickly? Because I don't think I did really much wrong. Okay, uh, apparently that's the thing. Stop. Okay, and we try going um to the bridge. Like we can't jump the bridge because we don't have all the items. But let's try going there first. Take a look around, maybe. And then we'll get back to more fighting. The game really wants to turn, doesn't it? Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. One of the gorge's many casualties. <laughs> Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. 
Ah, uh, we do danger. The recently constructed Boyahoga Gorge Bridge for Transgorge travel. Drive safely. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. <laughs> many have tried to cross the mighty Boyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Why is Kyber Steve for when you need him? Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. Yeah, we need a ramp. We have the uh, the booster, but we don't have the ramp. And I don't think there was anything over here. Okay, I got the nitro, but where's Ricky's ramp? And where can I swipe a hover lift? Something tells me the bridge is out. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to uh, win the duels on the bike and then uh get the wooden plank and with the wooden plank i can get the, the the gas mask people and then once i have those goggles i can find the secret lair and then once i'm in the secret lair i can get the uh the other item i need i thought there were three items i need well we got one we know what the second one is so we should start there but that's all for today my friends thank you for everything i love you all so very much and uh, we're going to try to figure out how to do this uh, bike fighting thing in the next part. Uh, until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.